All right, so let's uh, review what the nervous system is. The nervous system, your brain, spinal cord and such, in conjunction with your endocrine system, which are a bunch of ductless glands, um, they're actually one system, I guess, but those two are going to operate for the coordination and control of all your other uh, bodily functions. The nervous system itself, nervous tissue, is made up of two, two types of cells. Again, broad strokes here. Um, you're going to get neurons. Neurons are the cells that produce the electrochemical signals that are passed between uh, other neurons or groups of neurons and <clears throat> specialized groups of neurons that the convergence, divergence, and integration of those signals is what is, um, is how your nervous system works, right? Thinking. So neurons, there are about 100 billion neurons, all right? 100 billion, 100 billions? 100 billion neurons, and that's just a, kind of a rough number. I wouldn't get stuck on that. But there are about 100 billion neurons. Your average uh, standard neuron, we're not going to go into the different types of neurons, um, the different shapes, the pseudo uh, unipolar, bipolar, multipolar, pyramidal motor neurons. we we'll just skip all that for another video. But mostly, keeping it real simple, you have a cell body. And the cell body is called the soma. The soma is going to have one rather large projection that comes out. This is called an axon. And it could be one, it can be hundreds of axons, it could be up to a thousand axons dividing out, depending on the different type of uh, neuron we're talking about but basic parts, axon. The other end of the soma has a bunch of little squiggly, uh, tinier projections, fibrils coming out, that kind of make a little dense nest, and these are called dendrites, right? Dendrites, like uh, branches, okay? So <clears throat> there's, this is your basic neuron. You've got an axon <clears throat> that's headed out, and you can think of the, the cell body as integrating uh, signals deciding whether to pass them on or, or stop them for the computations that we call thinking. Uh, we're going to skip that part for now. But think of the axon as the output and the dendrites as the input. Dendrites can be input from other um, sensory receptors like uh, touch, uh, thermoreceptors, uh, chemoreceptors, that kind of thing. And then the axons will convey that information to one or more uh, other neurons or collections of neurons. Right? So that's your basic uh, nervous tissue cell is a neuron. The other type of cell that you find in the nervous system are uh, glial cells. Glial cells, there's lots of <clears throat> different types of glial cells. Uh, for now, you need to worry about satellite cells and astrocytes. We're going to talk about uh, Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes. Right? Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes produce a um, lipoprotein called myelin. Oh, right here so you guys can see it. Myelin. It's a fatty uh, protein substance that's not going to absorb certain stains in it, um, which we'll get to in a second. But it provides insulation and protection to parts of the neuron. Right? Now, uh, in another video, we talked about functional and structural distinctions in the nervous system. The Schwann cells are going to be your myelin-producing cells in the PNS, peripheral nervous system, and the same cell, sort of, in the central nervous system that produces the myelin is going to be uh, in the oligodendrocytes. <clears throat> so basically what happens is the Schwann cell will produce a series of like it'll roll around, there's his little cell body, and it'll roll around in layers around the axon, and then there's another Schwann cell here that'll roll around like beads on a string, and these little Schwann cells will go all the way down the axon as it projects into another part of the central nervous system or out to some sort of effector, right? Like... Um, the autonomic nervous system effectors are uh, glands, cardiac muscle, uh, smooth muscle, and the somatic nervous system effectors, the things that do stuff in your environment, would just be skeletal muscle. But the um, glial cells, the Schwann or oligodendrocytes that produce the myelin, they protect and insulate your axon so that the little electrochemical signal that's being sent, all right, being sent along the axon doesn't 
trip over or short circuit or leak into other axons. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more to myelination. <clears throat> One of the, ba the main benefits is it provides increased conduction velocity. So these little signals that are going down, which are called action potentials, we'll just call them AP for here, the action potentials in a larger axon, bigger diameter, and really heavily myelinated, can travel up to 100 meters a second, whereas the, the skinnier, smaller axons, or even dendritic fibers that are non-myelinated, uh, they can be as slow as 2 to 5 meters a second. So it uh, makes a big difference. We get into that a little bit later. Uh, why I'm pointing this out is there's another set of terms <clears throat> you'll come across a lot is gray matter versus white matter. Okay? And usually what this means is when they stain some neural tissue, the myelin will prevent some of those areas from taking the stain up. So once they're washed and set, you'll see areas that come out kind of gray, stained darkly, and some that don't absorb that and stand out. They're not like bright white, but this way, this is how we say it, white matter and gray matter. White matter will be anywhere that you have uh, myelination. So you'll find, if you see white matter, those areas traditionally, lots of myelin. <clears throat> and those are going to be your nerves, uh, your tracts, things like a lemniscus and a, and a peduncle and a commissure. Don't worry about any of that for now. Gray matter is clusters of dendrites and somites. So little clusters of gray matter where calculations are happening. And then the white matter is where the messages are conveyed to other areas of the nervous system or out to effectors or from sensors. So um, <clears throat> we'll do another uh, overview of how the nervous system works in more of like neural videos. But this is just to give you an idea of the tissue and the difference between gray and white matter when I talk about that. Gray matter is things like nuclei, ganglia, uh, cortex. Uh, the next video I'm going to draw regions or chunks of the brain and then things like the central nervous system versus PNS from the other video and white matter, gray matter, and these different glial cells and neurons will come in handy to understand that video, which is um, below.